Jeez. Oh, so sorry. This is not the RV parking, by the way. I know. We realized that after we got back. I gotta get my phone. Good God. We got hit, baby. Here we were. Not quite 4th of July, sometime June 2019, just to give it away. Man, life has a way of throwing something at you when you least expect it. And uh, didn't know what to do. All you can do is go through the paces, kind of like a mathematical equation. You just go through the order of operations, try not to lose your temper, do what you think you need to in the right order. And that's what we did, and it all turned out all right in the end. I just want everybody to know that I don't have any hard feelings whatsoever for that couple. They were wonderful, and I hope they were able to get their ride fixed. They had insurance, and uh, I hope they are able to have good many travels, and I hope they had a wonderful time. So, I guess I'll go ahead and tell you guys how it went. We were sitting there at the rest stop at the Falmouth exit, number 17, on our way to Portland. And I'm sitting there, kind of by the entrance, looking out at the entrance in peachy blue. Had to go to the restroom, so I'm sitting there in the van with the AC running. Right across from the entrance, and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, maybe I should drive over there by the bathhouse. Just so she doesn't have to walk that far when she comes out. And I kind of thought to myself, you know, it might not be the greatest spot to be right by the entrance. Not that it matters, because I was fully within my lines. And uh, I was like, nah, you know what? I don't want to turn the car off. I don't want to put it in drive. I have to put it back in park. So I just stayed right where I was. But it goes to show you really should follow those gut instincts because I sat there for about another minute and I seen this truck coming down the lane. And I was thinking to myself, they shouldn't, they should have uh, gone over to the RV section. Why are they coming in here? So anyway, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I don't care. No harm, no foul. I see him coming in. There's a sign right there that tells people no RVs. And he comes around this turn. Man, there is about it literally an inch between his RV and that sign. And I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, does this guy realize how close he just came? And I'm like, Phew. either this guy has no idea or he's a really good driver and he's just winging it. So he's going and I'm like, all right, he didn't hit it. I guess he knows what he's doing. So he's coming straight at me. And uh, he comes into the non-RV area. He makes his right turn. Man, he gets so close to my front bumper and swings around. I'm like, oh my gosh. He almost hit me. And I'm thinking to myself, man, this guy is freaking me out bad. And, uh, but he wings it on over, man. The RV whips right behind him and he swings on out. I'm like, this guy's making me nervous, but I guess he knows what he's doing. So I look back down at my phone. All of a sudden I hear... I'm like, oh my gosh, we just got hit. So, you know, what do you do? You just, you get your phone, you get your camera ready, you step out, you're thinking, okay, I got to go see what's going on. I get out there, I'm looking at everything, and uh, he's not even stopping. He keeps trying to, like, pull it loose. He's jerking it forward, and then he goes and puts it in reverse and kind of backs it back and forth, trying to get it unhooked. Uh, meanwhile, I'm yelling, hey, 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 stop, stop, you gotta stop. And I'm smacking the back of the RV at the end, on the side of it, trying to get attention, saying, you gotta stop, you gotta stop. And finally, he acknowledges I'm there, and he's like, oh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. And then he says, uh, uh, could you move forward just a little bit? And I'm like, no, I'm not moving at all. You gotta stop, turn your engine off. I knew there was no, re we're not blocking any traffic. I knew he needed to get out, we needed to make sure he had insurance and everything. 
I'm like, get out, get out. You need to, you need to turn your engine off. So I tried to tell him. He turned his engine off. I told him I wasn't going to move anywhere, and he's stuck. He's hooked right on the back corner of me. So uh, he gets out. Obviously, we're both nervous. Heart's pumping 100 miles an hour. Meanwhile, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, man, Peachy Blue is going to come out of the bathroom, and this is her van. She's going to be so frustrated and upset that this could have happened, you know, and it's the most ridiculous thing. You're thinking this is the last thing I want to happen right now. So, meanwhile, I've got my camera going. I wasn't even planning on that footage being for a video. I was just wanting to have it for evidence. Lo and behold, we made a video out of it, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So, Peachy Blue comes out. I'm like, sorry, baby, we got hit. She's like, oh, my God, what happened? And I say, we got hit. And uh, I'd like to thank the Falmouth Police Department. They showed up pretty quick exchanged information they had insurance we had insurance it was clearly their fault although you know that's just the way it is i'm not angry thankfully they had a good attitude not that you know it's not that it's my fault at all i'm just sitting in a parking space but man and it also goes to show the lesson i guess of this video follow your gut instinct man if your gut instinct says move the vehicle over there because it feels better do it i really wished i had because, you know, I didn't want it to happen. Turned out, you know, everything worked itself out. And if you stay tuned to the next episodes, you'll see just how amazingly it worked out. Because, truly, well, just just see what happens. Everything has a silver lining, typically. So stay tuned. Thank you all for joining us.